So I have a lot of patients that come in that are confused about the difference between what an artery and a vein. Um, the arteries are actually the vessels that go from your heart and take the new blood down to your feet. Um, the arteries have muscles in the wall of the artery so they can expand and contract um, to control your blood pressure and, to and make sure that you have continuous flow of blood from your heart down to your legs. The arteries are what get uh, blocked up with things like high cholesterol, smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, and they can cause something called peripheral arterial disease. Um, peripheral arterial disease is where you get narrowing or blockages in the arteries that decrease the blood supply getting down to your legs. Uh, similar to, to coronary artery disease in the heart, but in the, in the small arteries in the legs. The symptoms you can get from that um, are cramping, burning pain whenever you walk that's relieved with rest. Um, sometimes it can start high up in the thigh, in the buttock area, or maybe down in the calf. Um, typically I'll ask patients how far they can walk. Some will say they can walk a mile or two before it begins to burn. Some patients can't uh, walk more than you know, to the mailbox or a block or so, and that means that it's a little bit more extensive. The veins are the vessels that are in the legs that are responsible for blood getting back from the feet back up to the heart. The veins don't have the muscle in the wall like the arteries do. So they rely on the muscles in your legs to help squeeze and pump the blood back to the heart. The problems that you get with the veins is not blockages in the veins per se, it's you, it, well that does happen sometimes with blood clots, but more commonly is that the veins, because they don't have that support from the muscle, can become stretched out with time. And as they become stretched out, as opposed to the blood not being able to, to get down to the feet in peripheral arterial disease, the blood with vein problems can't get back up to the heart. And so it begins to pool in the legs and leads to problems such as tiredness, heaviness, achiness, restless legs. Um, but as it gets more advanced, can lead to thickening, hardening of the skin, darkening of the skin, and even non-healing wounds and ulcerations.